Last episode, we chased fish in far north Queensland before heading south to kill a few days and wait for a weather window. This episode, Michael and Tim shoot some monster mangrove jacks, <coughs> some dewfish, we drop into a local taxidermist, and hike Mount Warning. It wasn't long before we got the call from Tim to head back up north a couple of hours for a chance at some huge mangrove jacks. We were heading to a spot that neither of us had dived before, and it was well worth the long drive into the night. We've been dying to get to the spot for a while now, but needed near perfect weather for the long journey out. We were greeted with some epic conditions, a total glass out and 20 metres fierce. Tim took us to one of his pet mulloway spots. Michael made this drop and shot a nice 14 kilo one. Said I drop. That's exactly where he said there was a bit you. I was just sitting there. Tim made this epic dive through a cave filled with cod. He found a nice dewfish on the other side. Possibly the ugliest Jew I've ever seen. Look at that, that gross. What's that thing? Is that this thing? No. I oh. shot it and it was like distended. Oh, you can see the teeth marks. He's been bitten by a nurse or something, I reckon. Yeah, and it's healed over. Yeah, you can see all the rake marks in the teeth. It looks like you've speared it at like 50 meters with its stomach sticking out. Oh, so good. It's full air or road. Yeah. It wasn't long after we got the mull away in the boat that they started to see some big jacks. That was off the drop. I swam to the shallows to land on the rock. From the shallows, this whole beast just was in front of me. And I just was like, I just couldn't believe what I was looking at. I lined up and he just did one click like this. I thought, oh, he'll come back, coming around. And I just kind of pushed off to try and chase him. He just slided off.
done. Get, get the shocks off this thing. The donkey. Hit the bottom. I'm like, oh, I don't even think I'm in the right spot here. Oh. Turn around. Big sandbox shark. Straight at me. I'm like, poke him in the eye. Turn back. Oh, Jax. Just coming. Just coming. Oh, Jax. Good one. Oh, my gosh. Yes. <laughs> Smoked me. So bad. How many? That's a donkey. That's huge. Oh, look at his. That's what the bottom sounds like. That fish is 13 kilos, eh? That fish is 13 kilos. See this? 13 kilo fish, you can touch tail to tail with the stretch of your hand. That could be my PB fish, man. Just gotta measure him in the boat as well. Thanks, mate. Michael had thought he'd blown his chances, but after a few more drops, his luck finally turned around. Unfortunately, the fish took off around a boulder into the abyss. Big. Okay. We ran around the ledge, I couldn't find him anymore. Still there. Alright, let's get a float on that. On this? A float and a second gun. My one, my one, maybe you're up. We had to act fast. It was only a matter of time before the sharks would show up and devour a fish of a lifetime. a little bit. It's, it's on them. I can feel it rubbing. Get it up, get up. The float worked exactly as planned and worked the fish free. <laughs> Tim dived down to check the shot and make sure there were no sharks following it up. You reckon? Nah, no way. That other one was monstrous. Here's oh, Timbo. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> 
Finding big banger of jacks like this is a once in a lifetime fish for most people. And this was Michael's biggest jack to date after 15 years of spearfishing. It weighed in at 11.3 kilos. Thanks mate. The croaking though was out of control down there. Yeah. Crazy. I don't think they're the ones croaking. And then there was trag there. Oh. How big were those trag? Oh, you see trag every two, time? No, it was too far. That big? Like five kilos? That's not five kilos. That's a freaking monster track. Your hands got fried though when you turned. <laughs> <laughs> you're like this big and then you're like this. Nah, I was like this. Optical illusion. Meter long track. Nah, that one. They're probably like 700, 600. Heavy? 600. <laughs> Meter long. Okay, got it. After Tim was done falling in, we did the traditional fish picks on the bow of the boat before we began the long trip home. <laughs> a massive thanks to Tim for putting us on to yet another fish of a lifetime. We wrapped things up and began the drive back south. We were shattered. A few days later, we got around to finally hiking Mount Warning. To get here, you pass through the little town of Ukai. From there, it's a short drive into the national park where you'll find a small car park and signage for the trail. <laughs> Three minutes. <laughs> Been hit by a nut and my knee hurts. <laughs> Cicadas are deafening. Actually, hurts the ears here, so uh, it'd be good to get out, get up there, and uh, hopefully they're not as loud. How was that, Michael? It's good. So here we are, top of Mount Warning. Um, took us about an hour and a half. Pretty, uh, pretty tough if you don't do much hiking, like us. It was pretty steep. The last bit's just sheer vertical. You need chains to get up, but yeah, the view is epic. And uh, yeah, flew the drone around, got some epic shots there. You can see Tweed, Cook Island, um, all these other mountains. Just awesome. The cicadas are out of control. So freaking loud. It was well worth it. Don't know if I'll do it again. <laughs> but uh, maybe without all the camera gear next time it might, might be easier. Might take a helicopter or something next time be easier. Can we get one down? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Stunning beauty.
right, Michael, what's the verdict on the uh, mountain wanting climb? It's good. Never do it again. <laughs> I'll never do it again, though. Epic view. And uh, yeah, we just raced down then, much to the uh, dislike of our poor old knees. <laughs> we got down in an hour and 15, and now we are ready to cook some fish and have a beer, I think. What do you got there, Michael? So, the uh, Jew fish we speared a couple of days ago. Um, just cut it up into medallions, curry powder, garlic salt, peanut oil, butter. Just kind of made it up. Pretty much what's in the <laughs> camp kitchen. Yeah, whatever was in the box there. Cooked it over the fire there on the grill plate. Looks pretty damn good. Almost a year back, Michael shot a huge 30 kilo mulloway. It was such a huge milestone for him as he'd been chasing this fish since the day he began spearing. So we're just here at uh, Glen Stewart's in uh, Chindra. Um, the guy's an absolute perfectionist. His moulds are just unbelievable. Uh, I'm just picking up my 30 kilo Dewey mount that he did. And uh, that thing looks real. He's one of the best in Australia, if not in the world. Yeah, I'm super stoked with how my Jew turned out. Um, the detail is unbelievable. Like even as far as like making a mount for the inside of the throat, you see all the gill rakers, the teeth, the original teeth are in there. Every scale has been touched up, you know, with a small fine paintbrush and airbrushed with a nice purple sheen over its shoulder. It's just unreal. Huge. Yes. There's uh, Lee and Nick's 40, 44 or 47 kilo mackerel. No, I haven't got Absolute beast. Pretty happy with it, Michael? Oh, how can you not be? Look at it. It's got the, like that awesome, big, classic bronze dew color. And I asked him to put a lot of that purple in. You know, every now and then you get this dew and the, the head and shoulders just really purple. Uh, yeah, he's absolutely nailed it. So stoked. Yeah, you look at the mouth there, he's even got the yellow mouth and the gill rakers, the original teeth. Does it smell like juice? No, that's the only thing he hasn't nailed. You should get a little bottle of the juice scent. It was time to head home after three awesome weeks up north, catching up with mates, spearing some new fish, and finding an epic new campsite. Our esky was brimming with frozen fish fillets and we had a huge dew fish mold ready to go on the wall when we got home. Schmocky. Schmocky indeed. <laughs> um, let's move. <laughs> oh, I gotta be honest. I am hey. so hot. Hot? Oh man, just swimming you into the current. Oh yeah, you just so many times. I can just feel that my face is getting on fire. Oh, there's a blue bottle on that. Oh. Yeah! Woo! 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 Woo!